Excuse me, what do you think you're doing? Do something useful, you know, like gathering information. I'd deeply appreciate it if you wouldn't disappoint me. Oh, Mr. Eckert. Weren't you supposed to come around to my museum today? If you're not, I was thinking about closing up here. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to head out there right now. That's right. I was supposed to stop by the museum. I better get going. going to the art museum again. It's our daily course. You know, once in a while, I hear a cat meowing in the art museum. My daily routine is walking up this slope to the art museum. Granny here likes to look at the paintings. Hey fella, looking for the art museum? Just walk along the wall. You'll come to a hill next to a clock with an advertisement. Go up the hill and enter the gate. I've seen you somewhere. Is anything wrong? What do you think of this? Huh? This. What do you think of this? The movie this poster's for. It's pretty popular, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I guess so. What's the secret for a hit film, anyway? I don't have a clue. Maybe it's the method thing. The filmmaker's or the director's life experience. Oh, I should have tried more things when I was young. I'll be 50 soon, and then it's all over. Life is short. You there, make sure you leave with no regrets, all right? Live each day as though it's your first and last. Uh, okay. Why can't I produce a hit? I mean, really.
Would you like a chocolate? I've got some free samples. Take some if you like. It's a new product without a name yet. I'm sorry, but there's a limit of one per person. It's getting pretty dark out here. Maybe I should get something to eat at the bar down the road. Just ignore me, all right? Huh. Am I lost? Hey, aren't you coming? Don't tell me you don't know where it is. It's the South Tower along the city walls. You are coming, aren't you? I'll be in the director's office. Listen, will you tell my fortune again? Certainly. Well? The fated hour is 5.50. I see. Listen carefully. What I tell you is nothing more than one possible future. The shape of your destiny can change, depending on what actions you take. If you can return here, even after the appointed hour has passed, then I will tell for you the next fortune. Okay. girl who hangs around the public square. She's quite the flashy one, isn't she? That flashy girl! She's always in the public square! Doesn't she know how to dress? Oh my! You're not interested in gossip, are you?
Come in. I'm sorry I'm so late. Well, that's okay. Here, take a seat somewhere. So, what can I do for you today? Did you come to see my paintings again? No. Well, I mean, that's what I was going to do, of course, but... Hey, Mr. Eckert, do you know anything about alchemy? Why the sudden interest? Uh, research of some kind? Well, not exactly. Hmm, well, let me see. I'm not really well up on it, but... There was someone notable in this city, a man named Dr. Wagner. He was supposed to have been a magician or a scientist or something. I don't know anything much more than that, though. I see. Do you have any documents and things from that time? I think... Wait a second. <coughs> hmm, was this the one? Phew, here. Here, I'll lend this to you. The Magician of Our City. It's a fairly old book, maybe the oldest one here. I think it includes things like stories about real alchemists that worked in this city, recipes for the elixir of youth, even copies of documents from the era. Of course, you need to take it with a pinch of salt, maybe a fistful. If there really was an elixir, I'd want it myself. I'll let you know when I need that book back. Uh, by the way, do you like cats? Uh, mine had a litter the other day, as you can see. Thanks, but no thanks. Okay, but if you have a friend or anyone who wants a kitten, let me know. Are you going straight home today? No, I was going to walk around the city some more before going home. Was? No, it's nothing. Just some personal stuff. Well, anyway, I have some more work to do, so I'll keep the place open until I'm done. Feel free to look around. It's better for the paintings to be looked at by someone who really appreciates them. Thank you, I will. Who's there? <laughs> You're... I I've heard that voice before. Of course you have. Do you remember me now? I was the one who saved you. You should be a little more appreciative. What's going on around here? Who are you? That's not very nice. Can't you be a little more polite? I am homunculus. Not that there's much in a name. I've been waiting a long time to see you again. I've looked for you everywhere. By the way, are you using the digipad? Have you come here to kill me? Hmm? I think you misunderstand. I'm only trying to help you. Certainly not murder you. It's just that I don't know how to give you any direct help. And that's the truth. I think I'm going out of my mind. I can't seem to convince you, can I? This is really very difficult.
if in some small measure. What the? Seeing things? Did that man? <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> oh gosh! Didn't realize anyone was out here. Sorry about yelling and everything. It's okay. Don't worry about it. You see, my wife finally had our baby, so you can imagine I. And it's a girl too. The hospital just called me. Wow, congratulations. Do you work at this museum? No, I'm, I'm sorry, my name is Eckert. I've just taken over from my father as the director of this museum. What? You're Mr. Eckert? Yes, is there, is there anything I can do for you? No, nothing. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I have to think about what we're going to call her. Hey, great to meet you. <laughs> Bye. The digipad. It doesn't work. Well, how about that? Just a small example of what I can do. How will you get home now? You better solve that on your own. You should be able to handle a little thing like that, huh? What am I... What am I supposed to do? There used to be something in here. Now, if I get some... Now I can get back. Come in. Is that you, Ike? Can I ask you something? Yes. Mr. Eckert, do you have a daughter? It's all right. I'll take care of it later. I'm sorry. I didn't think I ever mentioned my daughter to you. Well, no. I do have a daughter. Or rather, I did. She was taken by some madman right after she was born. My wife was killed in the same attack. Does that answer your question? I'm sorry. I, I had no idea. 
It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm so sorry. God damn it. Any luck? Well, okay, I'll believe you for now. And I'm grateful that you gave me another chance at life. <laughs> now we're talking. Well, I'm really counting on you. If you die, I'll be in trouble too, you know. I don't really get it, but are you sure about this? I mean, I can't do anything except for myself. But that's all right. It's the way things should be. As you can see, my body is very fragile and won't let me do much. I picked up a baby the other day, and it was really quite terrible. Absolutely exhausted me. I won't ever do that again. So because of all that, I can only provide you with some backup aid. Oh, I almost forgot. You will see that red stone again sometime. When you do, could you acquire it somehow? I would like you to give it to someone called Dr. Wagner. That's all for now. I'll be seeing you. What on earth is going on around here? 